Never get tired of that old 6.0 whistle. So I wanted to talk a little bit about bulletproofing your 6.0 and you know if you're looking at a 6.0 how to tell if it was bulletproofed and I'll, I'll go a little bit more into that um, as well. But uh, the term bulletproof was actually a marketing term by Bulletproof Diesel. And technically, to say your truck has been bulletproofed, you have to be running Bulletproof Diesel parts. Bulletproof Diesel water pump, FICM, um, ARP head studs, the um, air to oil oil cooler, and their um, um, EGR cooler. And those five things allow you to say that your truck has been bulletproofed. Now going all out with bulletproof diesel products is expensive and not 100% necessary. Just go to their site and take a look at their prices. Uh, good quality parts, but really expensive. So what most people mean when they say their truck is bulletproofed is that they mean it's been studded with new head gaskets and perhaps an EGR delete or an EGR um, upgrade or a EGR um, plug where they actually weld the port where the EGR takes in exhaust gases, they weld that shut. So it looks stock, but there's no more flow of exhaust gases into the intake manifold. Now, <clears throat> really, in my opinion, all you need for a reliable truck is make sure your FICM is within spec, you know, 46 to 48 volts. Um, head studs with new head gaskets, OEM or perhaps Felpro, and um, O-ring the heads while you have it out, may as well, and a EGR delete or upgrade. And if you do that, it's plenty reliable. I mean, for example, my truck right now, the EGR has been disabled and it's on stock head studs with a, a canned toe tune. And I'm at like 210,000 miles on this thing. I assume this is the original motor. It has zero blow-by. It's plenty reliable. It tows what I need it to tow. So it's, it's kind of hard to say why the 6.0 is not reliable in some people's cases. Some people blow their head gaskets after getting it studded, you know, within 10,000 miles. Some people have 300,000 miles on the stock block with stock head bolts. Um, so it's kind of hard to say. Maybe some people just run it harder than others. Um, some people take care of their equipment a little better than others. Um, but yeah, so the term bulletproof to a lot of people is just head studs, head gasket, and maybe an EGR delete. And really, that's all you need for a super, super reliable setup. Um, as long as your uh, FICM is within spec, your oil and coolant temperatures are within 15 degrees maximum, I mean, you're good to go. Um, on my truck, I have the coolant filtration kit. I have the um, CAT ELC extended life coolant and, you know, EGR disabled with stock head bolts. And, you know, it, it runs perfect. It starts up every day. No, um, no blow bio, doesn't burn any coolant, has plenty of power and uh, can't really complain. So I'm going to go under the hood and show you if you're looking at a 6.0 to buy, and you're wondering, hey, has this been actually studded? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, actually tell. But it's an actual head bolt. There you go, you can kind of see. But it's an actual head bolt. And when people get them studded with ARP head studs, it's an actual stud that threads into the block and with a, a nut on top. And this this one is in the driver's side, like right under the degas bottle uh, Y pipe. So let me zoom out here. So you can kinda see where it's located. It's on the driver's side, tucked way down there. So if you're, the truck that you're looking at has this head bolt and not a head stud, chances are it has not been studded. I guess it's always possible that they did one stud to throw you off, but you know, not really likely. So if there's a bolt down there, probably has not been studded yet. So there you have it. It's super easy to tell if your truck has been studded or not. Just look for the, the visible head studs or bolts. About half of them are under the valve cover, so you can't see those, but about half of them are 
out in the open, uh, not necessarily in plain sight, but if you're looking for them, you can find them. Uh, so head studs are a good sign, kind of depends on who's done the work, if it's, you know, truly, truly reliable or not, if they used OEM head gaskets, um, you know, how they surfaced the, uh, the mating surfaces, but, you know, for the most part, if it has studs, you're probably good to go. Uh, so hopefully this, this video has helped clear up what bulletproofing is and what studying your truck is. Uh, there's a difference there. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like if you will and sub to the channel if you have not already. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.